Into the Wild Green Yonder the first Futurama revival was a series of four direct-to-DVD movies, each of which could be split into four-part episodes in syndication. And the final of these four was Into the Wild Green Yonder. After a mysterious cold open, we go to Mars Vegas, promisingly enough with Seth MacFarlane doing what he does best, crooning and not writing. Cause we'll still find the happening hot spots We'll still cruise the cool casinos You'll still fly me to the moon Although the moon to which you fly me could be Phobos or Demos But Vegas is being demolished and rebuilt by Leo Wong who is... not the most comfortable character so it's rough spending so much time with him in this movie but... hey, it was a different time in... 2009? Anyway, the latest member of the Waterfall family is protesting, and one thing leads to another, and as a result, Fry can start reading minds, but his past nastification prevents anyone from being able to read his mind, and he joins a secret society to protect humanity, and meanwhile, Leela is a fugitive, and also because these movies were meant to be split into episodes, there's a whole bunch of other subplots going on. It's a lot to keep track of, and while all four of these movies are a lot of fun, they work better structurally split into episodes than they do as movies. But as a potential last hurrah, they really strive to go all out for this one, with nearly every character from the show's run making an appearance, however brief, and equal weight paid to the universe-defining stakes and the interpersonal emotional stakes. And you probably think what I'm doing is wrong, but it's something I really care about. You don't have to explain, Leela. You're you. That's all I need to know. And while it's not my favorite Final Futurama story, I think it might have my favorite Final Futurama scene. I love you, Leela. Maybe I waited too long to say this, but I love you too. Wormhole! Sweet topology of cosmology! It's huge! Of course it was designed to have the option of not being final, but back when it was looking like this would be the Final Futurama scene, I found it satisfying enough to make up for any unevenness I felt in the rest of the movie. It made me hopeful for more adventures, but ready to say goodbye if necessary, and that's a really impressive balancing act. 